Hi everyone, it's Nicole. I have another page for you using the January kit from Studio Calico Block Party. And I'm also going to use the mask from Studio Calico. And I was going to leave a message for Michelle and at M. Mac Kent to let her know that uh, I got this inspiration from her. I had watched a video about three months ago and I really liked it. So I thought I got to use that someday. And then this month I was like, okay, what, what else can I do, you know, to use up my scraps? And then I remembered this. I haven't gone to see it again, but I know she had used the, the template. And on Tuesday, I was just looking and she left me a comment on YouTube and sus subscribed to my channel. So hi, Michelle. And thanks for the sweet comment that you left on my uh, YouTube channel. It was really sweet of you. So anyway, I just used my pencil and drew out all the template and then I put a little number so that I remember where, you know, what piece of paper fit where without having to think about it too, too much. And then I used my scissors and my trimmer to cut them all out. And then I'm going to replace my template on the page in put it back the way it was, you know, originally, originally supposed to be. So this one here, I had a little bit of trouble because I could not see the pencil mark whatsoever. So I had to retrace it and then cut it out. But that was the only one that I had a, a bit of trouble with. So actually, uh, while I'm narrating, uh, doing this, doing the voiceover, I actually have another page totally completed. All I have to do is the voiceover. And I also have a scrapbook haul that I'm going to upload. And also, um, I did a challenge on my blog, or not on my blog, on my YouTube channel, because I had 200 subbies. So go check it over. It was uploaded on March 15th. And today I'm going to upload the the prize, it's um, $25, a little bit over $25 of products, and it closes on April 15th. So you still have a week to join in, and it is a video response. So just go check it out and please join in. So at this point, I place the template back on my page, and then I use temporary adhesive and re glue it back on. Once everything's glued back on, then I'm going to take a eraser and I'm going to just get rid of all the pencil lines and all the little numbers that I had put on. And then at this point, I kind of look at it and say, you know, it's kind of blending into the page quite a bit. I guess I could have used um, ink and inked it up. But what I decide to do is use my pen. It's a close to my heart journaling pen and I just outline all around it and it's not on the paper like on each little sheet of paper it's actually on the background and at first I go every second one thinking you know for kind of a different look but in the end I decide to do every single one because I didn't find it was popping off the page quite enough and once in a while I found some pieces were kind of lifting up so I had to use my temporary adhesive and glue it down so that when I tried to trace around it, it wouldn't, you know, move all over the place. So at this point, I decide to use the dark, ground, dark brown paper for the mat. And I still don't know what picture I'm going to use. So I just kind of start going through my stuff and deciding on the chipboard stars and, and a few other little things. And then my battery dies. So then I have to wait a couple of hours for the battery to charge up again. And at this point, I decide on the photo. And I had done a page uh, not too long ago of my daughter's hand and her son's foot and hand, but I actually had shrunk down the picture and made it fit on uh, four by one four by six. So this one here, I want it to be the title page for his baby book. So I, I actually blew it up and then I, I um, made it four by six. And at this point, I don't want the star to be see-through so I used some washi tape that we got in a few months ago from one of our kits and it's actually white with yellow and it matches that yellow and white polka dot perfectly 
and I didn't want to take away from the sun ray at all so what I did was I'm just doing three small cluster right around the photo and I don't you know go beyond that ray except for the title and then I noticed that I had not used those thickers that we got in this month's kit the do-it-yourself so I'm going to spray them with the first kit Studio Calco Mist and I'm going to use that and then I'm also going to use some twine and I decide on using one pink and two yellow to kind of go with the two yellow buttons and the one pink button and now I'm going to shade in the hearts uh, not the hearts the stars store sorry and um, I'm going to do two yellow and one pink and at first I used the chicken feed from Jenny Bolin and I didn't find it was dark enough so then I used the butter bar from Hero Arts and then I start gluing everything down and I used one of those tabs that we got a few months ago from Prima and I always cut them in half so that I, I get double double the use of them and I had also found some little yellow tickets that kind of matched and at this point I'm starting to use the American Gra Craft um, dot adhesive and I really like it for the twine I think that's going to be my go-to adhesive for my twine now and at this point I want to sew in my buttons and at first I don't put the glue dots like I normally do and the button goes flying so I go get my glue dots and then I'm going to sew down the buttons and usually when I sew down buttons I'll put some washi tape in behind and I don't, I don't always sew my buttons down like after I was done this page I kind of ran out of floss and I couldn't be bothered have refilled it so the next page um, I don't sew down my buttons so it's whatever I feel like at the time so at this point uh, my page is upside down so I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to work on the title again and I decide on this Brad that we got a few months ago and it's the and sign and at first I think I'm going to use these October afternoon letters and they were too small so I, I don't go with that and I decide to use the same exact font and then I'm going to use it I'm going to use the sunshine Mr. Huey Mist and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to use a paper towel and soak up a lot of the a lot of the mist so it's not as deep or condense and then I'm just going to clean up my mat and I'm going to put my title right in the center here I'm going to fuss with my title a little bit to try to center it a bit and then I'm going to put his name underneath and once I'm ready I'm going to glue everything down and then I'm going to put the brad in the middle I'm going to cover up my photo I'm going to mist it with three inks the first kiss the sunshine and then I use one of my glimmer glaze and the page is done and look out I have about like I said three or four videos that I'm going to upload within the next couple of days and remember the challenge and upload your video response for a chance to win $25 in products and I'm I am going to upload that video tonight so that you can see the, the gift that I'm going to give out. So thanks for watching. Bye.